This Tuesday tip video is a guide to improving your confidence in selling if you're either a salesperson who is struggling to move deals from opportunity to sale, or if you're a customer success person nervous about selling. These tips are things I've learned from a book called Gap Selling, and since then I've applied what I've learned and refined them because these are what have worked for me. So gap selling is the most customer centric selling method I've ever come across. And as a non-natural seller myself, this has really helped. All right, so you'll need to apply these tips before you even consider doing a demo of your product. This is about finding out if you can help your customer. Tip one, identify the gap. So think of the gap as the problem you help your customers solve. That gap is the space between your customer's current situation and the ideal place that they want to be. To understand if your customer has the problem, you'll need to ask questions that allow you to find out if the gap even exists. Next, listen and learn. So you've identified that there is a gap. Now you need to ask more questions and really listen so you really understand their current problems. These questions need to unearth what additional problems occur if the gap isn't closed. What impact does the problem have on them personally and their organisation as a whole? Tip three, it's important to position your product not as an item to be sold, not at this point anyway, but as a bridge that closes the gap. So ask your customers questions about how solving this problem would improve the company's processes, technology, finances, people, and also their own personal work life. By doing this, you'll get the customer to really think about how a solution will help all aspects of their organization. Now, and only now are you ready to book a demo. Remember, when you do the demo, demo to the gap. That means demo to the problems you've found, not the features you have.